This was one of the meetings between the Pope and the prelate of Opus Dei, who died last night in Rome. This morning, the Pope sent an emotional telegram with his condolences in which he highlights his paternal and generous testimony of priestly and episcopal life and recalls that he gave his life in a constant service of love to the Church and to souls. The message is addressed to Fernando Ocariz, who is the auxiliary vicar, who will be the head of Opus Dei until the election of a new prelate. In these moments that we are faced with, I feel like it is logical to feel sadness, seeing as I have lost a great father, whom I loved very much and whom I love very much. On the other hand, I have a feeling of gratitude for everything he gave to us, to me personally and to so many people. Not only an external example, but a very vivid example, very present, immediately caring for the people. He had a love for the church, a union with the Pope, and an eagerness to serve the people with apostolic zeal. For years, Fernando Ocariz has been Javier Echevarria's main collaborator, which is why it was normal to see them together. Today he accompanied him for the last time on his journey from the hospital to Villa Tevere, the headquarters of Opus Dei. The viewing is in the prelatic church for the following days, which is very close to the remains of St. Jose Maria. <laughs> Since midday, hundreds of people have come to this church in Rome to say their goodbyes to Javier Echevarria, a kind and helpful bishop who many simply called father.